Hi, school family. I wanted to tell you that I miss you over the break and do something special for you and maybe your brothers and sisters or maybe some friends and read you a story that I really love about Thanksgiving because I'm thankful for my school family and my family and my friends and I know you are thankful for yours. So I have a special book called Twas the Night Before Thanksgiving. And this story and pictures are by Dave Pilkey, okay? He is the author and the illustrator of the book. On the front cover, we have some turkeys and some kids. Do you remember what they did? Because we read this story in school. And then on the back cover, we have all different books that the author wrote. And do you remember what this is called? Right, it's the spine. So what was his name? Dave Pilkey, he's the author. He wrote the words in the book. So get out your paper and pen and let's do what the author does. The author writes the words. The author writes the words. The author writes the words we read. The author writes the words. And he's also the illustrator. Do you remember what the illustrator does? Right, he draws the pictures. So let's sing about the illustrator. Paper, pen. The illustrator draws the pictures. The illustrator draws the pictures. The illustrator draws the pictures we see. The illustrator draws the pictures. So let's read the words the author wrote and look at the pictures the illustrator drew in. Twas the night before Thanksgiving. Was the day before Thanksgiving, and all through the trees, the fall leaves were spinning aloft in the breeze. Ooh, do you see what they're doing? Where are they going, and what are they riding on? A school bus like some of you ride. Eight children had boarded their school bus with grins. That means smiling, in hopes that a field trip soon would begin. A field trip is something you do where you go to a different place with your class, with your school family. They sang as they rode through autumn terrains while visions of drumsticks danced through their brains. Or rivers through woods with winding and weaves, their school bus sailed on through the new fallen leaves. When out on the road there arose such a clatter, they threw down their windows to see what was the matter. Oh, look at the bus going by. Where is it going? When what would their wondering eyes should they see but a miniature farm and eight tiny turkey. Look at them looking out the window with their teacher. And a little old man, so lively and rugged, they knew in a moment it was Farmer McNugget. Ho, 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 kind of like someone we know, right? He was dressed all in denim from his head to his toe with a pinch of polyester and a dash of Velcro. And then in a twinkling, they heard in the straw the prancing and pawing of each little claw. More rapid than chickens, his cockerels they came. He whistled and shouted and called them by name. What are those kind of birds that say gobble, 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 like the birds on my shirt? Now Ollie, now Stanley, now Larry and Moe, on Wally, on Beaver, on Shemp and Groucho. The turkeys were chunky with smiley beaked faces and they greeted the children with downy embraces. They hugged them with their feathers. So through the barnyard they ran and they flew and they gobbled and giggled as friends sometimes do. Look at them having so much fun with those turkeys. Look at their faces. They look happy, they are smiling. Then somebody spotted an axe by the door. <gasps> and she asks Farmer McNugget, 
What is it for? With a blink of his eye and a twist of his head, the old farmer told a grim tale of dread. Oh, boy. Bum, bum, bum. Tonight, said McNugget, these feathery beasts will be chopped up and roasted for Thanksgiving feasts. <gasps> Look at the children's faces. How do they feel? Yes, they feel scared. The children stood still as tears filled their eyes. Then they clamored aloud in a chorus of cries. What do you think they should do? Oh dear, cried McNugget, now what shall I do? So he dashed to the well and the teacher went too. Why are they going to a well? What's in a well? Hmm. And they fetched some water, aha, fresh from the ground in hopes that a swig might calm everyone down. And when they returned to quiet the matter, the children were calmer and mysteriously fatter. What do you think is in their bellies? The boys and girls drank up their drinks in the hay, then thanked old McNugget and waddled away. Their bellies are so big and there's little tiny feathers sticking out of them. What are they hiding? They limped to the school bus, all huffing and puffing. It's not easy to walk with hot turkey stuffing. And then as the school bus drove off in the night, McNugget looked round. Not a turkey in sight. <gasps> Where are they? Was the night before Thanksgiving, and the stars up above shone down on a school bus abounding with love. I don't see just children on those school buses. There's shadows of something else. The very next evening, eight families were blessed with eight fluffy Thanksgiving turkeys as guests. They feasted on veggies with jelly and toast, and everyone was thankful. The turkeys were most. Look, they are all with a new family. Eight children now have pet turkeys. So each one gave thanks for love and for living, and they all had a wonderful, happy Thanksgiving. And that is the end of the story. I wish you well, school family. I can't wait to see you next week. Have a great week celebrating with your family. Bye-bye.